Hello, welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Ansible to back up a Cisco device. My name is Roger Perkin, I am CCIE number 50,038 and in the next 15 minutes you are going to learn exactly how to set up Ansible to back up the configuration files of all your Cisco devices. So what I'm going to do is step you through what I have and how we're going to do it. So what we are going to be backing up are three CSR routers. Now I've got them here running on my lab. Uh, we've got CSR1 and that's 192.168.1.210. CSR2 is 2.11 and CSR3 is 1.212. So these devices are active and running. And then I've got my Ansible set up. Now I'm using Visio, Visual Studio Code here. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the host file. So in my host file, I have defined three routers, CSR routers. So this is my group, the CSR-routers, and I've put in there CSR1, 2, and 3. And I've used the Ansible host underscore host command and put the IP address of each device. So this is what we're going to be targeting. And then my backup file. So this is my backup playbook. Now I have got this saved in my GitHub and there will be a link in the description of the video so you can just go straight there and clone it. Uh, but we're going to walk through it very really slowly. So I have a block of code here that gets the Ansible date and time from the Ansible date and time facts. Um, it stores that as a fact called DTG. And then I use that DTG element in everything I do from this point on. Uh, so we create a directory. So this playbook will pull the date and time. It will then create a directory uh, with the current date. Um, I don't actually use the time for my backups. Um, I'm, I'm doing this sort of once a day. So the, the date is sufficient for me. Um, this will create a directory. Then so that's here, so the, the path goes in my network programmability backups folder. And then the actual playbook that is going to do the, the backing up the play is here. So I'm targeting CSR routers. I'm not going to gather facts. And then we're going to use the iOS command module. And we're going to do show run on the device. So the command I'm going to run is this one, show run. And then I'm going to register all the output as this line here config then we're going to save that into the folder so the next task is to copy the content of config.std out and the destination for that is going to be my network programmability folder backups and then the the code here will be the host name of the device and then the the date of the backup now also within this playbook we are going to take some more information and we're going to run a command here and we can decide which ones we'd like to run. So at the moment all of these are commented out and I'm just going to run show IP interface brief uh, but if you want to you could uh, uncomment these and then run any combination of these commands or add your own in. It's great just to get some random commands that you need uh, so if you wanted to find show IP OSPF neighbor only devices you'd run these commands uncomment this one here and then that would become an active command to run so this is going to run and pull these commands and it's going to take all the output of those commands and it's going to put them into a file and I'm going to use a ginger template to put them into a nice format and then also save them in the backups folder. Now, if you don't want to do any of this, you could literally delete everything from this point down. And we could just run the backup, which would just do the config. But I think this is really nice when you're doing a config just to run some show commands as well. And I'll show you as well down here, the template is this one here. So this is also in the GitHub. 
and all this is going to do is say output from show commands four and then it will put the the root and name in there and then it will loop through the commands and it will just put the output and save them in the file so that's what it's going to do so here we are on the command line so i'm just going to run the playbook ansible dash playbook and that one's going to be backup.yml So like I said, this is going to go off first and it's going to create a folder for me for today's date. Now I haven't run this today, so we should get a new folder, which it does. It shows it in orange, so that says I'm going to change. We've got a local host change there and it's created me a directory called 2019-0227. That one there. So that folder has now been created on my Ansible host. I'm now doing a show run on all the, the Cisco CSR routers. So it's going to step through these one at a time. And then we're going to save the output of that config into this folder, Network Programmability Backups. There, that's all changed. Now we're going to loop around again and we're going to run the show commands. So this is just going to run show IP interface brief on those. It's going to put the outputs together into one nice text file. And it does that and it completed. So that's worked. So now if I go back into my studio code and we go into the backups folder. this backups folder, sorry, and we're going to get into 2019, and here's today's 2019-02-27, and you can see I've now got six files in here. We have CSR1, and then it's appended the year, the month, and the date, and it's got a config and we click on that file and this now has got the configuration file for that router so that one was ESR1 which was 192.168.1.210 so I've got that output and also we've got these other files which are the show output and this has just run the show IP interface brief command and there we go, we've confirmed that that is the IP address. So there it is, a very simple playbook um, to back up Cisco devices. Now this can be adopted for Nexus, just change the modules. Um, it can be adopted for ASAs. Again, just change the module. And if I'll, I'll just step through a couple things in here. So what it's doing is very simple uh, this bit was just off the end here but we run the show run and then we register that to config so this word can be here can be anything you like uh, but we've got it set as config just for clarity and then when we save the file we are going to copy it and the content is going to be config.std80 and we're going to put it into this folder network programmability backups and what we didn't show all the way at the end was the inventory host name dash date dash config so this is what it's doing is it's saving it to be csr1 dash date dash config.txt and that is the file we've got now if we run this again with Ansible being idempotent, potent, nothing has changed on my routers. So this time the folder is already created, so it doesn't need to do that. So that's green. We don't need to make the change on the folder. The show run is going to run in green anyway. And now the output 
so we're saving the output and that's green as well because nothing has changed so the backup file we got the first time round is the same as the one we've just got now so to prove that and to show what you can do with Ansible that one's there we make a change onto one of these routers so let's just uh, connect into roger at 192.168.1.210 so this is CSR1 so I'm now on CSR1 if I make a change on this router So I've now made a change on this router. So this is an, what you would say an unauthorized change. Um, it's not been made by Ansible. It's been made by someone else outside of the system. So when we run our backup, this will notice that a change has been made on router one. So what should happen now is that when the show run output is saved for CSR one, it would show up as orange. So it successfully performed the show run, but now we're saving the output. It's going to be different, there it is, to the other one. So that's highlighted that something has changed. So if you're using a network automation system to back up all your devices and you're the only one that's doing it or only one system is doing it uh, and this runs, this can be flagged as there was an unauthorized change uh, being, being made there. So we can see we've got all my backup folders in here 2019-02-27 there's all the outputs now these are not version controlled as such in every single change is being made so this is just taking a daily backup so every backup that gets run today in this system will just overwrite the current file um, and then tomorrow it will create a new folder and the new backups will be done so it's not fully a uh, version controlled system but it's a great way just to get some snapshots of your backups and I use this um, an awful lot uh, when I'm with clients and just to give me a, a point in time where I can just point add all the devices into the host file run this grab all the configs and grab some a load of show outputs and we can review that at a later date so I hope this has been of use to somebody. Um, as I said, the GitHub link to the playbook is in the description of the video. Um, if you've enjoyed this, then please subscribe. Just hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified of any new videos I do. Um, I also have an Ansible automation course. Uh, the link for that is also in the description. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.